Want to know how to find and complete the new Fort of Fortune event? Or maybe you just want to know what you're up against. Well, that's what I'm going to cover in this video. Welcome back to another Sea of Thieves video. My name is Hippo TC. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, or even consider subscribing. I also stream over on Twitch. You can find all of those links in the description below and my schedule. I would love to see you stop by the channel and say hi. Now, with all that out of the way, let's jump into the video. Sea of Thieves Season 2 is officially here, and with it comes a brand new fort called the Fort of Fortune, or what I like to call it, the Fort of Fun. This is a random and rare world event that has the best loot in the game. However, it is also the most difficult event to complete with 18 waves of your basic skeletons, your typical captains, and lords. However, at the end of the encounter, you will now face one of the Ashen Lord bosses, who upon defeating will drop this brand new key that will open the Fort of Fortune's vault and all of its goodies. What's in the new fort, you ask? Well, you get a chest of legends, kegs of ancient black powder, crates of legendary voyages, Athena villainous skulls, Athena trinkets, regular mega keg, strong old loot, bone dust, and more. When this fort begins, it will be announced to the whole server by a loud horn, which is basically ringing the dinner bell for some of us thieving pirates. The closer you are to the world event, the louder it will be. It can spawn at any of the regular skeleton forts around the seas, and it is pretty hard to miss as it does have a big red skull with glowing eyes and fire scars. Now that you know how to find it and what the rewards are for it, here are some tips on how to beat it. Like I mentioned earlier, you will face 18 ways of skellies. These will be your typical skeletons from gold, plant, shadow, and regular. Every few waves, you and your crew will face a more challenging wave that will have named skeleton captains. You want to pick up the loot from these captains as they drop gold and some skelly orders. These orders will show you where you can find some hidden ammo at the fort, firebomb crate, kegs, and even ashen wind skulls. I highly recommend you dig these up and save it for the final boss. After 15 waves of this, you will start the final waves. Wave 16 will bring a single skeleton lord. Wave 17, you will face off against two skeleton lords. And then finally, on wave 18, you will come up against the final boss, which will be an ashen lord. This is where all that extra ammo you've been storing, bombs and food and kegs, will come in handy. However, still probably one of the best ways to do this is with the cannons from your ship. And that is pretty much the Fort of Fortune. It's just going to be your typical skellies with some skeleton lords and an ashen lord at the very end. So there's definitely some tip videos out there on how to defeat each of these bosses. Uh, but the best tip I have for you is just to make sure that you are supplied up, ready to go, and you got everything that you need for this fight. Because one thing I do know is that this new fort, the Fort of Fortune, really reminds me of year one Sea of Thieves. I don't know if you guys remember the fort back then but it spawned like every two hours and the whole server would converge to one spot when that fort came up that's basically what this fort is doing this fort brings everybody and i mean everybody on the server to one place everyone wants the loot they're either going to share it or they're going to fight for it and i say most people are going to fight for it so, so keep your eyes on the horizon because scurvy dogs are going to be coming for you and you need to be ready if you have any tips that you would like to share make sure to drop them in the comments down below and share them with the community we would love to hear that and i hope to see you guys out on the seas thanks for watching